Well, aspirin is already said to be a wonder drug for heart disease, and now new research suggests it might even be a key player in the fight against cancer. News 4's Dr. Peter Ostro takes a closer look. Hello. Hi. Good to see you. How have you been? We'd be much better off if we could prevent cancer instead of having to treat it. And what if prevention of some cancers were as simple as taking aspirin? I think for the vast majority of patients, aspirin uh, would be a reasonable addition to their list of medications. Dr. Mahoney is a primary care physician at Roswell Park. We looked over a recent report of the effects of aspirin that was published in the British journal Lancet. The authors reviewed eight clinical trials involving more than 25,000 people who were testing aspirin for its potential cardiovascular benefits. Among those who took aspirin daily for five years or longer, the chance of dying from any type of cancer was reduced by 20%. After longer periods and for certain cancers, the results were even more impressive. This is 20% across the board, uh, 40 to 60% for various types of, uh, of cancer. That applied to the population level is, is enormous and very exciting. This doesn't mean that smokers can keep smoking and just take an aspirin. Aspirin isn't going to protect them from uh, developing lung cancer. Stopping smoking is really what's going to reduce the risk of developing lung cancer. But on the basis of this report, he'll be recommending aspirin to many of his patients. I think it's an easy enough thing to do. And a lot of patients want to know, how can I reduce the risk of developing or dying from cancer? I would certainly encourage patients to go in uh, to their next doctor visit and, and ask, is aspirin for me? Now, it's really important to ask your doctor not to just start taking aspirin. Some people shouldn't take aspirin, and your doctor should decide if you are one of them. And this only works with aspirin, not Tylenol, not Motrin, just aspirin. Yeah, it, why do you need to ask your doctor? Aspirin seems so harmless. Why do you need to ask your doctor about well, it? Well, for some people, it's not harmless. Some, some people are allergic to aspirin, and they certainly shouldn't take it. Some people are already taking other medications to thin their blood. Some of those can add aspirin, but some of them shouldn't. Uh, and so in people who have had ulcer disease, heartburn, esophagitis, stuff like that, they shouldn't take aspirin. Shouldn't take it. No. Um, you take it, right? I take an aspirin. I started taking it for cardiovascular disease. Now I feel better about it because it might also be preventing cancer. Good news. I take it too. So uh, you may, but I'm sure you won some converts with this today. <laughs> Thanks, doctor.